welcome back again. Um, so this is week five of January. Now it's only like four days. Um, but we, we do need to put a little bit of money in. Um, I've wrote myself a note at the bottom there. Cancel pet insurance and life insurance when the new policy confirmation comes through. So I must remember to do that next week as soon as I've got confirmation. Um, I actually used a rewards app through my work. I got sick of waiting and um, the lad at work to do my life insurance. So I thought I'd just have a little look on the rewards thing. And there was like claim so many hundreds back for taking out insurance i was like hmm yeah right so the pet insurance needed renewing um and they had all gone up anyway um no matter what site i looked at they had obviously gone higher because the dogs are getting older um so they had gone up by about i think it was 10 pound a month it was going up by but then i could claim back 54 pound for the pet insurance but what i didn't realize is what's shown on the pending cash back is it was £54 per policy, even though I'm only doing one payment, it's splitting the two policies because for two dogs. So I'm hopefully getting the £54 per dog back for taking the insurance out with them. And then the life insurance policy, it's dropped by £30. So it's £30 cheaper than what we're paying, which is amazing. And then we're due to be getting 200 and... What's 45 or 85? 200 and something anyway. Um... As long as it's approved with whoever, whoever the insurance company is through this cashback site. It's amazing. So if we do get back, we're getting 300 odd pound back. And I'm like, yes. I mean, it probably takes months to come through, but still better in our pocket. So I don't feel so bad for the insurance is going up if we're getting something back from it. Anyway, we are rolling over 515 pound. That does seem a lot, but I mentioned in the previous video... 485 of that was a benefit that came in through my husband's union for being not sick. Um, if we didn't have that, we would have literally had like the 20 or 30 pound, whatever it was. Um, nothing else is predicted. No other money, no savings or side hustle predicted, but there probably will be some side hustle coming in because when I was checking all the cashback sites, I've got top cashback as well. I was trying to use that for my insurances, but the app kept crashing. I couldn't get into it. I don't know if it's my phone or what. Um, but anyway, while I was in there, I seen that me Audible one from last February that I put on. There was a fault with it and it was just sitting for ages as pending. Finally went through, so £3.85 on that. So I claimed that, so that's coming back. And then I had some money on um, Vinted. That was still to clear. That's getting processed at the minute. So hopefully this week there will be a little bit of side hustle coming. It won't be a great deal, but it's still something, isn't it? Um, with TV care package just under four pound i think it is is due out i don't think there's any other bills out unless something's going to come in super early but i don't think so so let's see so even though we brought 515 over 400 is put aside for february that i'm leaving that there so don't touch that um We are going to put, so 20, 40, 60, oh hang on, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85 pound cash here. I'm not going to get bother getting my tray out for 85 pound. We're going to put 40 into food. I'm hoping we don't need the full 40. Um, what we might do is, we've got 60 pound left in our date night, right? Because we had 100 pound saved up for our date night for our anniversary. But my kids had bought a voucher for Christmas, a £100 voucher, because there's, there's five big kids and one little kid. The five big ones had all put together and got with that. So we used that, and the meal only came to, like, £105. <laughs> well, obviously a lot of money for a meal. But you know what I mean? Like, because we were using a voucher, we didn't have to use any of our date money. Um, so we ended up using some for a takeaway the same weekend. So we've still got £60 sitting there. Um, and the local Indian restaurant have just, not only do they do a midweek meal deal thing, but they also put on their Facebook page the other day that kids under 12 go free on the month of January, um, Monday to Thursday. So my husband said it was nice. He says, well, why don't you? He says, tomorrow after work, which is, what day is it today? Monday today, so tomorrow's Tuesday. He says, why don't tomorrow after work? He says, why don't we go out? He says, um, the big ones away to our boyfriends for the night. He says, so we've only got the little one. He says, we've still got that money left. And I was like, do you know what? I says, yeah, because I'm working in Belfast and we're, we're city centre office tomorrow. So I don't get home till that bit later. And it's a longer day. It, it, it's busy. It's mentally taxing. I love it, but it, it is, is a lot more like mentally taxing and stuff. Um, plus the travelling and that. So I thought, you know what? That might be a nice treat. So I don't know. We haven't booked it yet. Um, but 
we might be doing that so that money is covered by date night so that's another meal we don't need to pay for out of work food for the week i've already done that haven't i Ease, silly silly concentrate that's because i'm talking about food i don't need any petrol we'll just put petrol in um i did use a bit more my husband's mom's moved nursing homes again hopefully this is our final one now Um, it's a lovely place really really nice she's got a lovely view outside of our bedroom window um, in a little courtyard and she watches all the little birds his dad's went and put like bird feeders in the hedges so they can watch the sort of like robins and they'll come and sit on the windowsill and stuff so that's really nice um so yeah so we're up and down there a bit more now and obviously because i'm two days a week down the main office sorry excuse me Ooh, i'll be doing that a bit more so we'll be using a little bit more fuel but getting the pay rise so it all works out um what else am i putting in nothing much else i am putting in why have i got a spare five pound where's that for our oh, 25 pound in home essentials because we need like washing stuff like laundry and um, we need a lot of laundry stuff of um running low on toothpaste um what else do we need laundry stuff fabric softener stuff toothpaste i think we need dishwasher that's like the biggies you know the ones you have to kind of get your money's worth you buying bulk so you buy big um so yeah 25 in home essentials so that's that we've got 20 pound left where's this phone oil and oh, i have been the wrong one oil and we'll visit home so oil is in our home one um this one here oil color in my little tracker so we're now up to 50 pound on the oil savings which is great and um, we just got a full tank just before christmas there so we don't need um any certainly for a long time but if we can save this up this is where i always go wrong you see we we'll never save it up and then we end up having to look for like three or four hundred or even five hundred pound to fill the oil tank well half fill it that's only half and um, so i think i really want to focus on really really trying to make sure this comes out as we're weekly money and not just as a if there's anything left over put it in that i need to make a point of if we were paying for a gas as in a monthly bill or a weekly bill we would have to do it this way so it's no different with the oil and um, is the way i need to remind myself and visit home which is this one here family annuals that one is getting this one here i think let's visit home yes let's visit home this one's getting 10 so we've now got 50 pound in so i want 350 pound in there at least so 50 pound down already so we've only got 300 to go only <laughs> but still we're making a start so it's good progress we're not putting anything in ice cream man um today so we have put 10 in there we have put 10 in there nothing else in the kitty ones and um, school lunches has that got enough in for this week um so we'll not have it tomorrow sorry i'm thinking aloud here like i would in the house tomorrow will be a yucky dinner from me will not have that wednesday you'll definitely have dinner and then thursday you might so there's definitely enough if he needs that right that's fine and then we'll leave that as that um and any change if there's anything left over we can do some fun with again some games but other than that that's all for now um i'm gonna have a little look at with savings challenges did i fill them in no i need to fill this in um on the last video there if you have watched it even though i've just filmed it i know there'll be a few days apart probably when i put them up um, we put 784 into the penny challenge we put where's the postcode one there it is no i didn't do 53 i spaced it out i did 65 in the postcode challenge so i've got a few more postcodes this pen's running out that's frustrating 65 in the postcode challenge right um we did seven in rock paper scissors but we also did another five in rock paper scissors so 12 in rock paper scissors 
Where's that? Uh, 12. What the other says? Is. Crack the cord. Got 19. That was a biggie. We've got three and Scouse Girl. Have I got Scouse Girl on here? Yes, I have. Three. By the way, Jules' book doesn't come with all wonky lines like this. I've covered up this little bit here. Um, I think it was like monthly reflection or something because I used it for debts. You'll see a lot of figures and a lot of mess on here. Um, this is where I've transferred over the credit cards. So we've now got nothing on the Vanquist card, um, nothing on the Virgin, nothing in PayPal credit, which is amazing, nothing in the Barclay card. Um, but it is all transferred on the Tesco card, but that is 0% until November 2025. And we've got a tumble dryer to pay, which is on 0% until June. Um, Santa and Dares, that's 0% until August 25. So there's no point paying a transfer fee when that's the same year. And um, we'll try and do that as long as we can. So that's going to make such a difference. And um, because the monthly payments will all actually go off just debt and not the interest. And um, just in case you're wondering what all the scribbles and figures are, that's what it is. Um, where's the lie got um, three four I think it got more than four didn't it let's see what where, where's the lie got I'm sure it did one two three four five six seven eight nine I got nine pound I forgot to write the five pound one so where's the Lie. So we've got nine pound. Stick that. That's getting heavy now. Where's the lie? Nine pound. What else? Nineties. Got a fiver. And that's it. So, oh, we did save the air as well. Well, I've been really rubbish at writing these down. It's probably on my comments on my other video. Somebody saying you haven't written it down. Oh, two pound on save the year. Save the year. Two pound. I knew I had put something in it. And every penny does count, as we all know. Um, I don't know what my roundup pennies was. If I even wrote it down, how on. Pennies round up two pound ten. Ten into that. Um, nothing into the YouTube twenty six envelopes. Um, that's just whenever a payment comes in. Nothing in treat. Nothing in investments or premium bonds. Nothing in bricks. And rock around the clock. Nothing in that one. Oh, I'd realised after I read all your comments, I could have done something different on that. You know, and I had the massive forty five pound to save, and I changed it at four fifty. I did it wrong. I could have easy um done it at like another roll um so apologies april for messing that up it's april's challenge um i'm sorry i'll do it right next time i play i promise <laughs> um tattoo that's my husband's savings nothing went in that this one and detris nothing went in that that one and um, that is by dingley designs and it's just a sticker one and i just put it on an old coffee jar um or a drink me chai jar tin whatever you want to call it it's got 14 pound in but that's it um at the minute um and the postcode challenge got that so there we go we'll leave it for week five because if there is any loose change or anything lying around at the end of next week or on thursday when we're finished when we change our budget um i will add it in and we'll see how much we've got at the end of the month and um, we'll go from there so thank you for joining me it was just a short one um oh my mum's been counting me m's you know how many times i say it i think she said i had 100 nod the last video like, yeah, thanks for that, ma'am. <laughs> Never mind, can't change who I am. I am going to go now. I'm going to go and edit the videos, plan when they're going up. I'll try and get one up tomorrow and then one up um, will be in a couple of days because I'm at the big workplace tomorrow. So I'll try and edit tonight, get it ready for tomorrow, if that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know what I'm doing anymore. Can't concentrate. Doing two videos at once isn't good for my brain. <laughs> so, But I've missed you all and it's been fun. Um, I have had a good catch up with you lot actually. 
it has been nice even though i haven't done my own videos i think that's how it's been easier to catch up with these all uh, i don't really comment a lot on the videos because i tend to either listen to them sneakily with an earphone in while i'm at work or if i'm walking home i'll listen to them sometimes in the car i can run them in the background but i tend to listen to my um, audible book instead in the car and whenever i'm popping around in the house the odd time i'll get a little comment on always always hit the like button as soon as i press play and i think that's really important and then always let it run i presume there's probably adverts i've got youtube premium so i don't really know uh but yeah so it is nice to catch up is all if there is someone that's um got some news like exciting news or something they want a bit of support over that's not so good uh let us know in the comments if i've missed something important in your life that you would like to share with us let us know and i will go over because there is that many videos to try and catch up on and now that i'm working full time i am struggling with that and i don't want to lose touch with this all so please give us a little nudge and i'll know jillian give us a nudge the um the other day and i was really really grateful for that so do give us a little nudge or a slap or a yell or a poke or whatever it is you do so speak to us all soon please ignore the state of my horrible nails for some reason this month they just lifted I don't know what's wrong with them so i'm gradually just filing them down and getting the lifted bits off but they're horrendous and they're stuck until the 10th of february so catch us all later take care everybody bye